Is that a Supra? Says every YouTuber and everybody right now here in Horizon 4. So let's jump on the bandwagon. Let's build some Supras. Have a little fun here on Horizon 4. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel Forza Horizon 4 with the new Toyota Supra. I know everybody is building Supras and everybody's doing super content and a lot of you guys have been asking where mine was. Well, it's here today. Been uh, doing some other stuff with the holiday season and everything and a set of Corsa. So, the super content is here. Could do some super builds, maybe drift cars, maybe some drag cars, but we are definitely going to get this thing sideways. We're just cruising here in the city, in the stock Supra, which honestly is not that amazing when you're used to super high powered cars. But it is still fun to kind of do some stock Supra sliding, curve hopping there. But you know, oop, I took that out. But you know, we're gonna be building this thing up getting all the power in there maybe not stupid amounts of power and then we'll go stupid amounts of power the Toyota Supra nice to see it back here in Forza Horizon 4 how many of you guys would like to see the new Toyota Supra or you know BMW Z4 oh we just wrecked our new Supra basically the Z4 here in Forza Horizon 4 but Supra version let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys have a Supra how did you build it drift drag race grip street cruise stands let me know so let's go jump to the mod shop get this thing modded up and uh get some proper slides going so like i said we're gonna be getting this supra sideways i did get my dashboard working horizon 4 if you guys haven't noticed by that quick little drive time to upgrade it upgrade the car we're gonna start with the essentials and that uh, by essentials i mean the suspension work and then we will definitely uh make the visual look better now I did have all this stuff already purchased so that's why you know I went to go build it so I built everything for it why can't I okay there we go and I built everything for it on there but I never actually drove it so today we're actually going to drive it and get the full build on the car to make this thing as light as possible alright so now that we got those done we're gonna look at body kits. I'm just gonna use the keyboard. It's probably it's probably easier. From bumper, I am liking the Bomax. So pretty much everything is the same from Horizon 3. So we're gonna go with the Bomax, which means we're probably gonna do a Bomax style. We're actually gonna shave the wing off. So we're gonna go with the Bomax rear, <clears throat> Bomax sides, and a vented hood. So we're gonna do all Bomax looking on the car now we gotta do some tire widths we're gonna go 265s in the front and we're gonna go as big as we can in the rear mm, 325s we're gonna get all that poke out and now for the fun part that usually takes forever trying to find some nice wheels that will look good on the car Ooh, that'll look good on the car Ooh, look piece of candy I'm feeling these Enkis, so we're going to go with some Enkis for right now. Going to leave them, I believe, are they at 17s? Because if they are, we're going up to 18s. Go up to 18s. 18s in the rear. Now we do all the driveline components. I'm not sure how much power I want to throw into this thing right away. So we're going to add our intake. Our injectors, our ignition. It's so much easier on a computer than on Xbox. Let's throw that in there. Throw the intercooler on, oil cooler, and our flywheel, which puts us at 660. I feel like it's a Supra. We need more power. We can do everything but massive turbos. So without going upgrade on the turbos, we're at 760 horsepower. We'll start there, then we'll add the turbos to it. We're going to get some proper slides with this. 
We're going to have to go tune it, get the suspension all dialed in, and then take it for a rip again sideways with this power, then up it even more. All right, for tuning, we are going to be doing basically a base tune, 25, and 22, eh, 22, yeah, okay, I hit the wrong button. There we go. I understand. Oh, got to hit the paddle. Gearing will leave how it is. I'm going to knock that down a little bit. That's a lot. Knock there, a little bit, a little bit there. And we'll leave that there. Any roll bars. We're going to soften. We're going to soften this thing up. Really faster to move it with this. Oh, it is. So much quicker. Yeah, buried. Stiffen that up a little bit. Soften the dampeners. It's kind of backwards of pro what people would think you would do. So we're going to try it this way and then go from there. Lower braking pressure differential. We're going to lock that and do about 80. So this is what we're going to go with right now. We're going to get this thing sideways, have some fun with it. Let's go. Toyota Supra back here in Forza Horizon 4. Now we got some proper power. And now we actually have some proper speed in this car. We are on the Fanatec with the full 900 degrees of rotation and everything set up. Oh my, I'm so used to a set out. I meant to do that, little 180. Woo, definitely so much different going from a set of Corsa here to Horizon 4. There we go. That's proper slide though. So, somewhat of a first slide, and the tune does feel okay at the moment. We might need some more grip, though. Oh, I'm on stock tires. That's why we are on stockers. I'm like, why do I don't have that much front grip? We are on stock tires. Grip, fail. Forgot to put other tires on this car. So, for stock tires... It's not handling half bad. As I say that, we go airborne. Ooh. You have arrived at your destination. So for stock tires, not terrible, but I think we need to uh, throw some actual grippy tires on there. And you know what? More power. It's a Supra. We gotta get more power. I know a lot of people don't like racing on drift tire on race tires, but we may. So we're gonna go back in here. Go to the turbos, go all the way up, which puts us at 1,200 horsepower. Okay, 1,200 horsepower. Now we need to throw on some tires. I think, I think we're gonna have to go onto race tires just to try and plant some of this power. We're gonna go with the race tires. See how it slides on race tires, which means we're going to have to modify that. Our tire pressures again, because once you change tires, it messes with tire pressure. We're going to go back to 24.5 and 22.5. Apply that. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Let's go do the same thing we just did, but with some grippier tires and more power and see where we sit. Oh, my. It still just wants to break the tires loose. But good news is, we have a little bit more grip. Oh my! As I say that, we almost just overdo it. 1200 horsepower though. It's grippy. 
it's grippy, but it it moves. Slightly impressed with how this thing is is handling right now. Wheel feels very responsive on the race tires, though. Super grippy in the front of the car. That's a really long handbrake drag. But it looks like we got it. This car is moving. Ah, too much, too much greed on the handbrake. My God, this is insane right now. It's just this thing just wants to go. Supra, definitely a very fun car. It doesn't want to hook up at all. There it goes. Try to hook up a little bit. As soon as you step on the gas, it gets going though. Oh my! I am this. I'm fighting the wheel right now. Got some high speed though. Six gear, sideways, why not? Ooh. Fanatec fans kicking on. Oh my. Six gear. Don't hit that car. Ooh, grazed. This car is crazy. So like I said, let me know what you guys did on your Supra. I know everybody got it. Did you build it for drift? Did you build it for grip? Did you decide to make a drag car? I feel like I want to make a drag Supra. Put some drag tires on it. Try to get as much grip out of the car as I can. Maybe a track style time attack Supra as well. Maybe throw a single turbo on it. So if you guys want to keep seeing some different Supra builds here on Forza Horizon 4, let me know down in the comment section down below if you want to keep seeing more Horizon 4 on the channel. I'm having a little bit too much fun with this. This car is crazy. Jesus, 200 miles an hour. Oh God, we're done. Oh, no. Ugh. We survived. Don't ask me how. Toyota Supra back here. Definitely a lot different than what I'm used to right now with a set of Corsa. So we're gonna have to keep playing this more and get better a feel for the wheel again here on Horizon 4. You have arrived at your destination. We just beat a new personal best on that one. And hit this speed trap. I feel like I want to build a, as grippy as I can, like time attack style Supra. As much downforce as I can, as much grip as I can. Ooh, I feel like it would be interesting. Build! We done. <laughs> so I think that'll do it here for this episode. As always, I thank you guys for watching. More Horizon 4 to come. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.